Good morning! It is officially grouper season. We're getting ready to head out to the reef. We were debating on taking the dinghy or this big boat, but we decided this boat. Number one, because the ride will be a little easier because it is a little windy and a little choppy today. Number two, we're less likely to get stopped by FWC on this boat. Not that we would be doing anything wrong, but it's just one less thing to deal with. Um, for some reason, FWC is more Boat likely. Boatnik, this is the Tawi Tonga. FWC is more yet? likely to stop a smaller boat because that's usually what people go spearfishing off of. So we're just trying to avoid one thing to deal with. But anyways, here we go. Captain's Log, May 1st, 2022. All right, we have made it to our spot where we're gonna catch some groupers. It's a little bit rough out here, but we're mostly pointed into the wind and the waves, so it shouldn't be too bad. <laughs> but you can see over there, dark spot, that's where we're going. I said we weren't gonna roll around too bad, but <laughs> we are rolling. At the end of our dive, Mike spotted a gag grouper. He was the first to take the shot, and unfortunately, the spear had ripped through. I followed the fish to a nearby coral head, and I thought he went underneath. But after a closer look, I did not see him. We'll try again next time. Post dive video. Our table fell down. <laughs> oh my gosh. It is so rough out here. What did you think about that current? <laughs> the wind. You just want to eat chips. Chip it. Chip it real good. It's rough. We chased a few groupers, but they were going against the wind. <laughs> And against the wind. And we couldn't catch up. Yeah. Don't try to chase groupers against the wind. Uh-uh. And against the waves, it doesn't work. Never works. No. But these waves are pretty big. <laughs> Until next week. We yeah. Try again. I think we're going to try again next week if the water is better. Yeah, we shot at one. But it wasn't a good shot. And it ripped through. And then he went way up current. And there was no way we could find him. We thought he went under a rock, but he looked and looked and I didn't see him there. Who knows? Abracadabra. Abracadabra, poof, he's gone. <laughs> <laughs> huh. All right, we're back at the dock. And since we got zip on the groupers, I'm gonna show you what we did find. Uh, number one on the list is right down there, somewhere down there. That fishing pole here. Not sure what it is, but it's kind of cool. It's kind of like a golden sort of color, but let's take a closer look at it. It's 
definitely been down there a while, but look at that color. Isn't that pretty? And it's got yellow fishing line on it. We're gonna try to clean that up a little bit more later in a bit, but I think I may have caught my record lionfish. Um, but the dinghy is over there. I gotta pull the dinghy up and then we'll take a look at that lionfish. It's almost like walking a dog. Come on, dinghy. <laughs> gonna halfway tire up here because I gotta flip her around anyways I just want to take a look at that landfish whoa look at this guy this guy here he's the big one he's a big one monster a couple other little ones in here but he's the big one of the day Oh my gosh, I'm under the dock. <laughs> Come on, dinghy, stop going that way. Go back out. <sighs> dinghy. All right, we'll just hang out under the dock. <laughs> so I'm gonna slide him up to zero. So zero and his tail. Ooh, he's a big one. Look at that. 16 inches, he is huge. He's a monster, okay, I am floating away. Come on, dinghy, go back that way. While we're successfully flipping the dinghy around like I wanted. <laughs> sort of. Yeah, but that's a big lionfish. And then we also found uh, an anchor. Let me show you this anchor. Come on, dinghy. Put the landfish back. He's a monster. He is huge. This anchor here. Well, you can see it, but it's got chain and some line. It's even got the sticker on it still. Look at that. <laughs> Couldn't have been down there for that long. Those are our finds for the day. Well, even though we didn't get a grouper, we still got a lot of other good things. Take a look at the fishing rod. Pretty expensive reel. Yeah? How much do you think it was? Or first, what kind of what kind of reel do you think it is? That is a pen. It's a pen reel. It's a pen reel? I can't see the model, but... Oh yeah, it's a pen. It's pretty. It's a nice reel. Somebody was not happy losing this. Huh? It still, still works. works yeah. <laughs> yep, we gotta clean this puppy up. Yeah? Think it'll be usable? Yeah. Yeah? That is a nice find. Look at this handle on this thing. I mean that that's a comfortable that's to reel in a big fish, huh? Yep. Man, somebody was not having a good day when they lost this. They were not having a good day, were they? Not at all. <laughs> oh my gosh, I can't believe it still works. We could probably clean it up real nice. Get all the junk off of it. Yep. Is it supposed to do that? Yep. Really? Oh man. Everything works. I mean, just button's a little messed up, but. How much do you think this rod and reel is worth if it was new? 800 bucks. That's Everybody not bad. Model number, we'll find out. All right, let's get the model number. It was definitely down there a while with all the stuff growing on it, but it couldn't have been longer than a year. Yeah, that line is still good. Yeah. Well, we're gonna get this cleaned up and We'll do another video on this shortly. I need a scraper scraper. 
are you just looking for the model? I'm just looking for the number. Okay, found the found the, the model. What is it? International. International. Twenty VLSX. Oh. Well, let me Google that. See how much this one's worth. Well, here it is for six seventy nine. There's one with the Bass Pro sells that uh, that rod and reel and a set for eight forty nine ninety eight. Yeah, I'd say like eight hundred bucks. Yeah, eight forty nine. You are right on the money. So, what do you think about that find? Well, let's see if we can salvage the reel. Yeah. It sounds good. Bearings sound good. We just need to soak it in something that's gonna break it all up. I like it. All right, I'm gonna stop messing around here and help my clean up. <laughs> help you clean up. 